In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the most expensive part of business. Now, we all know that there used to be this concept about grinding and team no sleep, but the real reality is every entrepreneur does not get paid to work. You get paid to think. What should you be thinking about in your business that drastically will grow your income? My goal is to help coaches and entrepreneurs turn their mind into money, teaching them how to take what they know, package it, market it, sell it, and automate it to make a massive income and massive impact, even if they don't have a lot of followers on social media. Welcome back to another episode of Monetize with Marcus. I'm your host, Marcus Wild Rosier. So let's just jump right into it. Like this is a quick short form episode. I realized like this, I hope this doesn't sound bad. The person who works the hardest typically doesn't make the most money. Like when you think back to like I know I'm probably talking to a lot of entrepreneurs or some who are look who are still working and looking to move into full time entrepreneurship. Like I get it, right? Or you decided you love your job but you had a side hustle. If you look in that company structure and most settings, it wasn't the person who worked the hardest. It wasn't the person who worked the longest hours. I think back to any time I've been in a job environment, it was the person who thought created the structure and hired the person who worked the hardest that made the most money. Why is it, or even when you think about manual labor jobs, those back-breaking, wake up early, work late, manual labor normally gets paid the least, and somebody, please don't be crazy and think I'm down in an occupation and industry. Like, it's, it's bad. You got to give a disclaimer for everything now because most people are suffering from acute ADD. Like, can't listen long or comprehend, okay? But I'm trying to point out something that most people did not want to do manual labor jobs that they, like whether it was cutting grass or you name it, you left from doing that to start doing something that allowed you the opportunity to not have to manually work. Now, here's my question. We've got to pause right there because I'm in the giving mood. I decided to offer you a free gift, absolutely free. Now, I tell you all the time about turning your ideas into online income, but how am I going to tell you to do something and not provide the resource for it? There's so many questions that people have online about what should I post? How do I get my engagement up? How do I get people to click the link in my bio? Buy from me. What should I sell? Whether it's an ebook, an online course, how much should I charge? How do I launch? How do I do a webinar? You see what I'm saying? So I decided to create a free training and give it to you that you can utilize to learn how to literally take the services that you do or the ideas you have and build a successful online company. Go to www.monetizewithmarkers.com, my gift to you. You're welcome. Why as an entrepreneur are you still manually running every part of your business? I think automation literally is how you make that big drastic leap from manual labor entrepreneurship into truly being able to think your business. Like, if you let's use I know so many people that are still manually having to do every aspect of their business, whether it is someone reaches out to inquire, there's no automation or sequence of or, or inquiry process. If someone reaches out to ask a question, there's no clear process for that. If someone reaches out to pay for something, there's no process for that. I've got a client who does very well and I was asking them. You know, what is what is the difficulty? It, it was like, well, it takes me so long to get on the phone with each person. Then I've got to send them a quote or proposal. Then I've got to correspond and answer questions from the proposal. Then we follow up. Then I send an invoice. Then we send their onboarding documents. Then we hop on a call. I said, good graces of life. That's a full-time job before you even start working with the person. So they hired us to basically take all of that and start building out a automated onboarding process that as soon as the person inquires they talk with the person and that person signs the agreement then triggers the invoice the invoice then triggers the onboard document the onboard document if the person doesn't fill it out in two days it triggers a reminder and from that it then triggers an email that sends them to their calendar for the person to book right so it's the sequence that goes out now they went from having to do about six tasks to the only task they do is the phone call and after that it's all on the client and it drips it all out to them. And, and the person was saying, do you realize how much time you save me? Be because think about it now. Now it's scaled how many more people they can work with. So I would ask you in your business, what aspect of manual labor is keeping you from growth? Every entrepreneur should be thinking about it, either outsourcing it, hiring someone or automating it. Once you do it long enough, 
You just want to do it just long enough to learn the ins and outs of it and find the most effective way to do it and then automate it. Like if you've done it for longer than a couple of times, you kind of know that checklist. I do this, then I do this, then I do this, then I do this. Once you have that down, you can hire help or you can automate it. So I want I think one of the major things you should be looking at right now is you should be writing down what are the things that you absolutely love doing in your business. Like what's those three to five things you say, I really enjoy this, I'll hold on to it. Like for me, hmm, I got really a handful of things I enjoy doing. The rest of it, truthfully, I don't mind never doing it again. I don't like emails. Like I don't like looking at it. I don't like responding to them. Like I don't like that at all. Now I'm really looking for someone I can hire that will take over even better my DMs. Like I don't even like responding to DMs at this point because here's the blessing that comes with, with growth. At one point, I know somebody going to hear this thing. Man, that's really like weird. No, like just imagine this. Imagine you having like a crazy busy day and 60 people send you a question and you don't have time to respond to them. Or as soon as you respond to one, here go the next one and the next one. Imagine talking to 60 people at one time in the course of a day. Wouldn't you be burned out? That's what DMs have become. And so it's like, and then you don't want to overlook anybody because I care. So I don't want people waiting for the longest for a response. So I want to hire somebody right now as a part of my team that all they do is respond to DMs. Like just make sure people get questions answered, send resources. Hey, here we need this, we need that within reason, right? That takes away the man. Then eventually what we're working on now is we're automating it all. We're using something that, that's not like you can write this down, mini chat, mini chat. It's a resource that you can literally automate your, your flow. We, I'm noticing now we get the same questions over and over again about how much do you cost for to build a funnel for me? Hey, when's your next program? What's best for me if I do this, 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 and this? So we can automate that flow. I can tell a person type keyword blank, whatever the keyword is, and it's going to automatically say, hey, the keyword, let's say it's funnel. I can send them a link of here is what we do with funnels. Here's a couple of questions. Here's how to get this resource if the question is pricing. Keyword, if you're interested in our pricing, the keyword pricing, and then based on their response, I can automate it all up to a point and say, if you would like to speak with someone versus our automation, click this button. And they click the button that sends them right to our email, right? That's a dope way to move away from the manual labor side of it. You should quit working for free. How did social media hire all of us to be their workforce? We're on the app posting videos, going live, creating reels. We do not get paid when we create content on social media. They do by selling our content to advertisers. But how do you actually build an online business using social media? I want to break it down for you and give you access to it. There's five simple steps. I'll tell it to you in a few seconds. Step number one is client attraction. I'm going to show you how to actually attract clients that will happily pay you what you're offering. Step number two, how to capture them. How do you get their emails? How do you get their phone numbers? How do you get them to show up to your event? Be on your Zoom calls to what I refer to as client dating. It's where you nurture a relationship with people to get them to say yes to whatever you're offering. And I'm even going to show you what type of content to create that gives you brand visibility and brand recognition. I call it social media secrets. You get access wherever you're watching this video. You'll see it in the description and you'll see it beneath this. Let's get back to the episode. So all I got to do is sit down, map it out. That's what we're doing right now. And as soon as it's mapped out, I'm going to hand it to my VA and let them type it in. And then their job is once a day or twice a day to check in on it to see if there are some pending things that we need to do. So I want to say for you, find those things that you don't like that you're manually having to do. And let's think about how do you outsource, hire, or automate. If we can help you with the automation side of anything that leads to sales, let us know. This has been another phenomenal episode of Monetize with Marcus podcast. Uh, you can go to monetizewithmarcus.com backslash podcast for tons of resources like this. Apps like what I mentioned, ManyChat and all that, we're working on a checklist of kind of like top tech resources and all of that that you can use in your business that might benefit you. All right, I'll see you in the next episode of Monetize with Marcus.